Hey guys, Tobin Folk, Training Northwest. We're back here again, talking to the selfie camera a few minutes ago about how much I dislike the word prepping and all the negative connotations that come with it. And that got me thinking about some of the images that go along with it. And a lot of people associate, you know, guns and ammo and big trucks. And I get all that because I'm a dude and I like shooting and I like my pickup truck. It's like, it's like toys for grown men, right? Um, what I think a lot of people neglect to think about is that in the event of a true societal collapse, maybe the biggest killer of human beings would be the lack of sanitation and clean water. And, you know, maybe not even a societal collapse because your water treatment plant runs on electricity. So if you look at, you know, the state of California this last summer where they're asking residents not to charge their electric vehicles because the grid was overloaded, you know, what, what does that say about the, uh, the reliability of our infrastructure? Our, our electrical grid was built in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. And now in 2022, everybody's got, you know, a microwave, multiple TVs, their kids have a tablet or a video game system in their room. Uh, they're charging their electric car. You know, like, I'm, I'm not innocent. I have, a, I have a refrigerator in my house, another refrigerator, and a chest freezer in my garage. So... You know, we're overtaxing this grid that we built 60 years ago, and we're hoping that it's that it's going to be able to keep functioning. So let, let's say you have a brownout and your water treatment plant shuts down. Where are you going to shit? Because if you look around, it's, you know, this is more for folks who live in a built up uh, heavy population density area. Where's it gonna go? You can go dig a hole in your backyard, but it's eventually just gonna end up in your groundwater and it's gonna end up in your neighbor's yard. Um, I'm lucky, my family and a couple other families own this property out here in the mountains so we can come out here, dig a pit toilet and we'll be okay. But you know, if, think about folks who live in an apartment building and uh, you know, humans, we're stupid as a species. And most people will just continue pooping in their toilet until it overflows and crowns and you got a nice little volcano of poop coming out the top. And only at that point will they start thinking about alternate solutions. And at that point, disease and pestilence are gonna start to set in. Um, so man, I don't even know the solution there. I think that if you live in the suburbs, you might wanna have a bag or two of lime so that you can dig a pit out in your backyard. Uh, if you're lucky, you've got some property out, you know, space is key, right? Space is what you need. So if you got space, you're okay. You can dig a hole. But uh, for you guys in the suburbs, in the city, you might want to start thinking about how you're going to mitigate all your shit. And yes, as a professional electrician, I can tell you your water treatment plant has a backup diesel and or natural gas generator. Um, but the current administration has depleted our national strategic oil reserves and has completely cut natural gas production in the United States. So that, that strategic oil reserve was not just for jet aircraft and tanks. It was for all the backup systems for our infrastructure. Um, so cutting, cutting our domestic energy production has a major effect on the security of our domestic infrastructure. And uh, last thought guys, so we're standing out here on the river. It's goddamn amazing. Get your kids off their screens. We're talking about how every kid has a screen in their, or a video game system in their bedroom. Make them turn it off, take them out state parks, hiking trails. You don't have to own property to get out in the mountains. Get them out here. My kids complain nonstop when I tell them they're coming out here with me. But as soon as I park the truck, they go firing out the side and they're gone. And they have a great time. All right. Catch you later.